Today marks Holocaust Remembrance Day, the day the lives of an estimated one million people who were killed at Auschwitz are honored. Seventy-five years after the liberation, the relatives of those killed want people to remember what happened. KDKA's Megan Schiller takes us inside Pittsburgh's Holocaust Center on this important day. Here at the Holocaust Center of Pittsburgh, they aim to educate every single day. But on this Holocaust Remembrance Day, they're actively judging artwork by high school students across the area. This is uh, a particularly important uh, anniversary for, for the world and for humankind. Sculptures, collages of Tree of Life headlines, colorful painted butterflies, all creative ways to use artwork to remember the Holocaust. So for me personally, Auschwitz is meaningful because my, my grandfather was, was deported and killed in Auschwitz. Uh, of course, I, I never knew him. That was in 1943. Jake Jacobson sits on the board for Pittsburgh's Holocaust Center, nestled in this Squirrel Hill Plaza along Hazelwood Avenue. He says on Holocaust Remembrance Day, we mark the anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz and solidify this message. This is a message that goes, you know, well beyond the Jewish experience. You know, the, uh, the injustice that was done to the Jews has been done to other people. And in fact, in Auschwitz, it wasn't just Jews that were killed. It was homosexuals and the Romani and many other prisoners were also killed there. So the lesson is for, for all humankind that when you see injustice, it's important to stand up and to speak up. He hopes this center honors the millions killed at the hands of the Nazi regime and helps in the fight against the rising renewed threat of anti-Semitism, racism and hate. And the Holocaust Center tells me they still try to stay in touch with about 40 Holocaust survivors, make sure that they're still coming out to the events in the Pittsburgh area because they say their stories are so important now, especially in light of the recent anti-Semitism in the Pittsburgh area. Reporting in Squirrel Hill, I'm Megan Schiller, KDK News.